The AR-15 is one of the world's most well-known and popular rifles. There are a lot of reasons to love the AR-15 platform. It's easy to shoot, cost-effective and powerful. But finding the best AR-15 rifle is not an easy task, which makes taking the best decision a real challenge. In this video, we're breaking down some of the best AR-15 rifles available on the market today. Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, professional shooter for Team Smith & Wesson, and I'd like to show you the new Smith & Wesson M&P-15T rifle. Some of the features of this rifle, it comes with a six position adjustable buttstock. Forward of that, it has the Magpul M-Bus flip-up side assemblies, both front and rear. Going down from there, it comes with the integral forged trigger guard. The handguard assembly is a 13-inch free-floating M&P Slim handguard with M-Lock capability. It ships with a two-inch section of M-Lock rail, so if you want to attach a vertical grip or a siding assembly, you can do that. The barrel is a lightweight contour. It's a 16-inch barrel, comes with a mid-length gas system. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO with 5-all rifling and a twist in 8, so it accepts the lightest bullet onto the heaviest bullet. It also has an armor knight finish both interior and exterior for wear resistance and also corrosion resistance. The barrel assembly is topped off with Smith & Wesson's proprietary flash suppressor. It also offers a mild degree of a muzzle brake. It's all topped off with the Magpul 30 round P-Mag. This is the exact model Smith & Wesson rifle that I used to set a current world record speed shooting title with of 10 shots on four different targets at 1.59 one-hundredths of a second. Today, I want to talk to you about our DDM4 V7. This lightweight, modular rifle would make a perfect addition to anybody's gun safe. It comes standard with a 16-inch government profile barrel and a mid-length gas system. It also comes standard with our MFR 15.0 M-Lock rail. The M-Lock rail has a patented bolt-up system which is extremely rigid and durable and can take any beating you would give it on the range. This rifle comes in just over six pounds, which makes it extremely maneuverable and easy to move around barriers. Also, if you're out shooting all day, it's not extremely heavy. Comes standard with our Daniel Defense bolt carrier group. Those are MPI tested, extremely durable, full auto rated bolt carrier groups. They do come standard with a mil spec trigger. They all will come with an ambidextrous selector lever, which is great for lefties or righties. And you have the ability to switch from the long side to the short side with uh, just removing a small little screw here and you can switch your long selector to either side that you want. It's also gonna come standard with Daniel Defense rubber over molded furniture, which is extremely comfortable. Overall, the DDM4 V7 is a perfect rifle for anybody from beginning shooters all the way up to the pros. Introducing the St. Edge pistol from Springfield Armory. The premium build quality that defined the battle-ready St. Edge now available as a pistol with a Maxim CQB brace and 10.3-inch barrel for the ultimate in mobility and versatility in a 5.56. At just 24.6 inches, the St. Edge pistol comes fully furnished with an MPI-tested bolt, premium components and accessories for unrivaled performance, ready for duty right out of the box. Every aspect of the St. Edge pistol is designed for the most demanding user. Generously fitted with spring-loaded flip-up sights, an ultra-rugged free-float handguard with hand stop, ambidextrous safety, and AccuTite tension system, all built on a rock-solid premium billet lower. The all-new St. Edge pistol from Springfield Armory is painstakingly built and configured to offer undeniable performance at an unbelievable value. Today I want to talk to you about the DDM4 V11. The DDM4 V11 for the longest time was our best selling rifle and still holds its own in our lineup. It's going to come standard with our Daniel Defense Flash Hider, which is a salt bath nitride finish. Behind that, you have a 16 inch mid length gas system barrel, which is a government profile barrel. And then the rail system is our Slim Rail 15 0. The Slim Rail is a key mod system. 
that is also utilizing our patented bolt-up system. The V11, much like every other Daniel Defense rifle, will ship standard with our Daniel Defense 32-round magazine, and it will also ship with our new Daniel Defense grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. The DDM4 V11 is one of the lighter configurations that we make, weighing in just at 6.2 pounds. It is going to come standard with ambidextrous selector levers and is chambered in 5.56. This particular configuration comes in multiple different colors. You can either get it in our Daniel Defense Mil-Spec Plus or the Daniel Defense Tornado Gray. And then obviously we have it in the black color as seen here. The DDM4 V11 is an overall lightweight, fantastic rifle that will make a great addition to your gun safe. The Ruger AR556, the standard model 8500, is an exceptional value in the modern sporting rifle. A rugged, reliable Ruger, it will serve you well out of the box or serve as a great foundation for your custom build. The Ruger AR556 MPR, or multi-purpose rifle, is Ruger's custom build. It's assembled with top quality, well-matched components. It's still a rugged, reliable Ruger. It's still an outstanding value. The AR556 MPR is an exceptionally accurate rifle, and it seems to do everything very well. The heart of the AR556 build is its barrel. Cold hammer forged from chrome molly steel. It's forged with minimum bore and groove dimensions and 5R rifling. 5R rifling distorts bullet jackets less, fouls more slowly, cleans more easily. This barrel is forged with a one in eight twist that will stabilize just about any bullet length. And the 18 inch length gives a little extra velocity boost over the standard 16 inch tube. A highly accurate build need not have a super heavy barrel contour. The AR556 MPR has a 700 diameter in front of the gas block, a 750 diameter at the gas block journal, and the barrel contour is trimmed away behind the gas block. This lightweight contour contributes to fast and quick handling. The barrel is capped with a radial port muzzle brake that reduces recoil and muzzle rise, further contributing to quick handling. Recoil is further reduced by the rifle length gas system. The softer operating impulse is easier on the rifle and easier on the shooter. Accuracy is further enabled by the low pro gas block, which is free floated inside the 15 inch handguard. This light trim handguard features M-lock slots at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock position, as well as the upper 45 positions, and a full-length Picatinny rail that matches the Picatinny on the flat top upper. The barrel is nitrided to help it maintain its great accuracy over more rounds downrange. Longevity is further enhanced by chrome plating on the ID of the bolt carrier and the bolt. The bolt is 9310, it's shot peened and proof tested. The Ruger AR556 MPR features Ruger's Elite 452 trigger. It's a two-stage trigger. The first take-up stage is followed by a crisp, clean four and a half pound break. The Ruger MPR features Magpul MOE furniture. The adjustable for length buttstock with a comfortable cheek weld, the appropriately textured grip for great control and great comfort. And when coupled with the trim handguard, the MPR offers great ergonomics. The Ruger AR556 multi-purpose rifle does everything well. I'm here to introduce you to the Sig Sauer M400 Tread. So this rifle is basically our introduction into the sub thousand dollar category. So one of the key features in this rifle is going to be the barrel itself. We've got a 16 inch stainless steel one and eight twist barrel. Comes with our uh, taper lock system here too with a muzzle device. We'll talk about that in a second. So stainless steel, why stainless steel? Well, you're gonna get with that stainless steel more accuracy downrange uh, with this rifle and not worry about too much corrosion going on either. Stainless steel is good for that. We've also got the one and eight twist. Some of you might ask why one and eight twist? Uh, well, again, uh, this is more apt for the introductory shooters, people just getting into this. Uh, so one and eight twist, people don't typically start off in this industry here spending a whole lot of money on ammo. They tend to go with the lighter 55 grain rounds. And what that will allow you to do is have more accuracy with those lighter rounds at 55 grain, etc. The taper lock, 
Uh, what we've got here is our SIG taper lock works really well with our suppressors line. What that does is allow for a good solid lockup. Uh, it takes more effort to take the can off than it does to put the suppressor back on. And also good solid alignment all the way through. As you can see, this is going to come with a uh, three uh, prong flash hider to keep your uh, vision in check while shooting uh, multiple rounds in lower light. You're not going to get blinded by the flash. Coming uh, with that barrel is going to be our SIG Microlite gas block. It's actually made of stainless steel, believe it or not, lighter than most of the titanium gas blocks out there. Very light, very uh, inconspicuous, runs underneath the most uh, handguards out there, and it's going to be a very light option for you. So one thing I look for in a rifle is going to be ambidextrous friendly components. With this rifle out of the box, you're going to get several of those. Your run-of-the-mill baseline rifles typically come with righty-only components, and so a lefty is going to have to learn how to figure that out. With this, again, out of the box, you've got several different lefty and righty ambidextrous components. So first is going to be uh, the safety selector switch. So I've got the safety here, righty and lefty friendly. Uh, also, I've got the ambidextrous magazine catch. So again, I can access it from the left side or the right side very, very easily. Also, is going to be the QD points on both sides, right and left. So if you're a lefty like me, you can run your sling point here, righty, sling side right over here. So very, very impressive. This comes with uh, several different ambidextrous components. Also, if you decide to upgrade too later on, we also offer a ambidextrous charging handle. So that's going to help out significantly as well. Also coming stock with this rifle is going to be the stock itself, uh, Magpul SLK stock. It's really nice, sleek lined, uh, six position stock. So the taller folks out there, the shorter folks out there like me, you're going to have a perfect position just for you when it comes to that level of comfort. Another thing I'm a big fan of the stock too, is gonna to be a little bit of a wider cheek piece here. So it's gonna give you a good solid uh, cheek weld when it comes to shooting this rifle. Not, no strain out of your neck, and it's gonna be nice and comfortable for you uh, if you're having to sit on the stock for a prolonged period of time. Another ergonomically friendly piece is going to be uh, the new SIG pistol grip. So there's about a thousand different pistol grips out there made for AR-15. SIG did actually a very, very good job of making this new grip very, very ergo friendly. It fits very well uh, lefty or righty, and it's a very sleek, uh, smooth feeling grip. Also has a, a little compartment in here for your batteries, your lube, uh, any extra parts, your extractors, whatever it is you might want to keep inside of there. So probably the biggest key feature on this rifle coming out of the box, this thing is going to have a free floating handguard already on the rifle. What does that mean? Essentially, most of your uh, lower cost rifles out there come with some sort of a handguard that in some way, shape or form touch the barrel. Now, typically it's not a great thing. Uh, if anything touches the barrel in any way, shape or form, what that does is tends to mess with the harmonics of your barrel. Uh, if you rest the barrel on a barricade or a car part or anything like that, uh, what it'll do is send that round literally a matter of inches at a mere 50 yards away, uh, away from its intended target. So with a free floating handguard, what you have is nothing at all touching that barrel. So you're not messing with any harmonics whatsoever. I can rest this thing on a barricade, uh, rest it on a bipod, I can rest it on a car part, whatever it is, and nothing is messing with that rifle's accuracy, which is pretty key. It's pretty sleek, very, very smooth. Uh, so no matter where you run your hand on this handguard, it's going to be a nice smooth position for that hand too. Uh, so I'm a big fan of that. So whether you're a first-time buyer or an experienced M400 shooter, uh, this is a good place to go. Thank you.